Hello, well, this is David. I'm back again, and we're today we are continuing in the first book of Enoch, and we're reading out of the section. Uh, this will be the last section I'll be reading from this book. Um, uh, it's called the section is called the Epistle of Enoch, or the letter. Uh, this section uh, there's two titles. Um, it's you can either call it the letter or the epistle, same thing, I believe. Uh, so it's the Epistle of Enoch, of First Enoch. Um, the Epistle of Enoch, I'm sorry. That's what it's titled, this section here. And so uh, in my last video, we left off in um, chapter uh, 91, but it's the beginning of the Epistle of Epistle. Uh, you know, I was, uh, the other day I was reading that word, Epistle, and I kept saying Epistle. And I said, well, watch me watch me do that in my video. I might... I might say epistle, you know, because it's not epistle, it's epistle. <laughs> but I, I just, that was the other day when I said, well, I'm going to be, I'm going to be saying the title of this section. And like a dork that I am, uh, I probably say, I'll probably say uh, epistle. Okay. So this is epistle. Okay. The epistle of Enoch. And so we can, we're, we're in uh, chapter 91. And uh, I came up on 30 minutes, so I, I kind of cut it there at verse 12. So um, if you, you have to watch my last video to catch the first part of this uh, chapter, okay? It's the, so it's the beginning of the episode of Enoch. It's just, it's, it's amazing. Hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, so I'm going to get right to it. I'm not going to ramble on, I promise. Um, and so uh, we left off in, chap in uh, verse uh, 12, and I'm going to read verse 12 and continue to read verse 13. Um, and so it says, after that, after that, there will be another week, the eighth, that of justice and the sword will, and the sword will be given to it, that it may pass judgment and justice on those who practice injustice and the sinners will be delivered into the hands of the just. It's the return of the Lord. And in the end of it, they will acquire houses through their justice and they will build a house to the great king as an honor to eternity do you, do you get this this is this is the kingdom on earth this is the millennial reign of Christ Jesus this is the millennial reign of Yeshua our lord god and savior okay it says we are going to help build that kingdom amen and in the end <clears throat> and in, I'll read that again and in the end of it they will acquire houses through their justice, and they will build a house to the great king as an honor to eternity, okay, to eternity, okay? And after that, in the ninth week, the judgment of justice. Now, I, I haven't really studied this in depth, okay? I'm just being honest, okay? Now, this part right here where it says the weeks, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking seven seven-year weeks, like, you know, or maybe it's seven day weeks. I don't know, but these are weeks. Okay. Cause we know that there's uh, the 70th week. Okay. The 70 weeks, we know that. And uh, right now we're, 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 we're waiting for that, that last week. We're in like 69 and waiting. Okay. And, and so that last week we know is the seven years, the last seven years. Okay. Before the return of the Lord, the first three and a half, and then the second three and a half. Okay. But seven years complete the last week. Okay. So there it's speaking of a week is seven years. Okay. So if we go by that timeline, this, these weeks are probably the same thing, seven year week, but don't, don't count. Don't, Mark my word for it, okay? Just uh, something to maybe think about, okay? And uh, maybe uh, dive into it for yourself and and and, uh, and check it out, you know? So anyhow, it says, And in the end of it, they will acquire houses through their justice, and they will build a house to the great king as an honor to eternity. And after that, in the ninth week, the judgment of justice will be revealed to all the world, and all the doings of the impious. Hold on, let me, let me, I'm sorry, let me just go back because something came out at me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it it falls in it falls into place. It's something see inside of me, it's something going on, and it's the spirit of God, amen. It's just coming up inside of me, okay. Um 
it does make sense. Now, can I say this is how it is, okay? Well, because it's the book of Enoch, okay? But it does make sense, okay? Because this was, I believe it was written before Daniel, okay? Before, I, I, okay, don't, I, okay. Let me just say what I was going to say, okay? So as I was speaking about the, the, 70th, the 70th week, that last week before the Lord's return, I'm going to take it from 11 and see what see if you see what I'm seeing here, okay? This is the return of the Lord, and this is when he cuts off injustice. This is when he judges, when he returns, okay? So that's the end of the 70th week, okay? We know that in the seven weeks, as spoken of in Daniel, okay, the seven years, that last week, okay, is the 70th week, we know that that at the end of the seven weeks, at the end of that seven years, the Lord returns. Okay, after uh, during uh, after the great tribulation, towards the end of the great tribulation, He returns. Okay, at the end of the great at the end of those seven seven years. Okay, and so right here we have, and then He judges. Okay, and then He okay. So it says here, um, and the roots of the injustice will be cut off. And the sinners will be destroyed with the sword. Okay, that's when he comes back to judge. And the roots of the revilers will be cut off in every place. And those who contemplate oppression and revile will be destroyed by the edge of the sword. By him. By his sword. Okay, spoken of in the book of Revelation in Daniel. Okay, so, and then it says, verse 12, get this, get this, here it is. And after that, there will be another week, the eighth. So it falls into place. This is amazing. Okay, this is this is very interesting to say the least. So it says after that there will be another week, another seven years, the eighth, that of justice. And he says, well, how can that be? Well, of course. What do you mean? Time doesn't just stop. Okay, he returns, and our time is still the same. He's here on earth with us, but this is this is the next week, the eighth. In the next seven years, okay? And after that, there will be another week, the eighth, that that of justice, okay? Not injustice, that of justice. And the sword will be given to it, that it may pass judgment and justice on those who practice injustice. And the sinners will be delivered into the hands of the just, okay? It says, also brings up another scripture in my head, okay, about we'll be giving thrones to judge, right? It says that, that we'll be judging the people, okay, that we'll be judging, okay? It says uh, that, it may, that it may pass judgment and justice on those who practice injustice, and the sinners will be delivered into the hands of the just. And in the end of it, they will acquire houses through their justice and and they will build a house to the great king as an honor to eternity. And after that, in the ninth week, this is awesome, the judgment of justice will be revealed to all the world. And all the doings of the impious will depart from the world. And the world will be written out for destruction. And all men will look for the path of rectitude. And after this, in the tenth week, in the seventh part, there will be the judgment to eternity. What judgment is that? That's the final. Okay. This is, this is, a, okay. Anyhow, in the seventh part, there will be the judgment to, to eternity, which is held over the watchers and the great heavens of eternity, which will spring forth from the midst of the angels. And the first heaven will pass away and cease. Oh my goodness. This is the finality. This it went from the flood, okay? It went to the second coming of, of the Lord, his thousand year millennial reign, and then it, it bleeds right into the final. Okay. It's all in this chapter. Okay. Read it for yourself, okay? And the first heaven will pass away. It says, after this, in the tenth week, in the seventh part, there will be judgment. There'll be the judgment to eternity. That's the finality. That's what we read in the book of Revelations, chapter 20, okay? Chapter 20, 21, I believe. Yes. Chapter 20, 21, and then the new heavens, the new earth. Hello, okay? It says, which is held over the watchers. Okay, after this, 
in the tenth week and the seventh part, there will be the judgment to eternity, which is held over the watchers and the great heavens of eternity, which will, which will spring forth from the midst of the angels. And the first heaven will pass away and cease, and a new heaven will appear, and all the powers of heaven will shine to eternity sevenfold. And after that, there will be many weeks without number. <laughs> and after that, there will be many weeks without number to eternity. In goodness and in justice, and sin will not be mentioned from that time on to eternity. Now, that makes a lot of sense because that finality in Revelation chapter 20 and 21, it's done. That's that's the final, a final, final one, okay? Where, where Satan is done with, all the evil is done with, finality. Then we got the new heavens, the new earth, okay? It says, and sin will not be mentioned from that time on to eternity. Now you say, well, what about the millennial reign? What about it? We read, we read in, um, I'm not trying to say that sarcastically, I'm sorry. But we read in, in uh, uh, Zechariah chapter 14, how it's going to be, okay? There's going to be those who don't, don't want to go up and worship the Lord. Okay, and what's going to happen on those uh, from Egypt or whoever doesn't want to come to worship the Lord yearly? Okay, or come up to bring him gifts, come up to to bow, in other words, and to to give in, to repent. There's be punishment and plagues on those people, you know, if they decide not to. So there will still be sin in the world in its thousand year millennial reign. Okay, but here is the ultimate. This is speaking of revelation, the new heaven, the new earth. Okay. And it says, and sin will not be mentioned from that time on to eternity. And now I tell you, my children, and show you the paths. And now into chapter, uh, verse 18, chapter 91. And now I tell you, my children, and show you the paths of justice and the paths of oppression. And I will show them to you again, that ye may know what will come. And now hear, my children, and walk in the paths of justice, and do not walk in the paths of oppression. For they will be destroyed in eternity who walk. I'm sorry, I kind of chopped that one up. And now hear, I'm going to take once again from verse 19. Uh, and now hear, my children, and walk in the paths of justice, and do not walk in the paths of oppression. For they will be destroyed in eternity who walk in the paths of injustice. That's a warning. Chapter 92, written by Enoch the scribe. Okay, written by Enoch the scribe. All this doctrine of wisdom, praiseworthy to all men, and a judge of all the earth, to all my children who will dwell on the earth, and to the future generations who are practice rectitude and peace. So this is written to all, written by Enoch, the scribe, all this doctrine of wisdom, praiseworthy to all men. Of course, women, all men and women, okay? You know, uh, I just thought I'd mention that, you know, I know uh, you sisters in Christ out there that there might be following along, you know, um, the Lord is not a male chauvinist or whatever, because uh, there's a lot of women mentioned in the Bible, but uh, he always regards it man and, and man and man. But, you know, um, and he made them both male and female. Amen. So there's there's a uh, uh, there's no I, I think this word bias. There's no bias here or something. Anyhow, I'm speaking to brothers and sisters in Christ. I, I don't know why I, I get on that. But um, anyhow. Uh, written by Enoch the scribe, all this doctrine of wisdom, praiseworthy to all men, and a judge of all the earth, to all my children who dwell on the earth, and to the future generations who will practice rectitude and peace. Let not your spirits be sorrowful on account of the times, for the great Holy One has given days for everything, and the just one and the just one will arise from, from sleep. And the just and the just one will arise from sleep and arise and walk in the paths of justice and all his ways will be in, in everlasting goodness and grace. 
He will be gracious to the just one and will give him everlasting rectitude and power and give him power. He will, I'm sorry. He will be gracious to the just one and will give him everlasting rectitude and will and will give power and will be in goodness and justice and he will walk in everlasting light but sin will be destroyed in darkness to eternity and will not be seen from that day on to eternity chapter 93 and after that enoch commenced to relate out of the books and Enoch said, concerning the children of justice, and concerning the chosen of the world, and concerning the plant of justice and of rectitude, of these I will speak to you and announce to you, my children. I, Enoch, as it has appeared to me in a vision from heaven, and what I learned through the voice of the holy angels and understood from the tablets of heaven, and Enoch commenced to relate from the books and said, I was born the seventh in the first week, while judgment and justice were yet retarded. And there will arise after me in the second week great evil, and destruction will spring up, and in it there will be the first, the first end, and in it a man will be saved, and after it, there he goes again, and there will arise in me. I'm sorry, but as I'm reading, it, it brings up scripture to me. Uh, so uh, I'm not sorry, okay, because I, 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 you know, I don't stutter. I can read this like straight through, okay. But you, you got to understand, as I'm reading, I'm being ministered to inside myself, okay. So that's what's going on. I'm not messing up my reading or nothing like that. It's just I, maybe I should just read it and then and then go over it. But as I'm reading it, I'm, the scriptures are put. They, they they come to mind. So I believe that's the spirit. Amen. So um, I'll just make a conjecture here. I'll just make a, a comment here. You know, it says, I was born in the seventh in the first week while judgment and justice were yet retarded. And there, uh, uh, that word retarded, um, uh, uh, just look it up. I think it has other meanings because we know when we hear that word, we know what we think it means, but this is written different. So anyhow, and there will arise after me in the second week great evil, and destruction will spring up, and in it there will be the first end. That's the flood. Again, he's saying the first end. Okay? And in it a man will be saved. Who was that man? Noah. Okay? And after it, and after it is finished, injustice will grow, because it did after Noah. Will injustice will grow, and he will make a law for the sinners. And after that, in the third week, in the end thereof, a man will be chosen as a plant of the judgment of justice. And after him, the plan of justice will come forth. And after that, in the fourth week, in the end thereof, visions of the holy and the just will be seen, and a law for all generations, and a court will be made for them. And after that, in the fifth week, in the end thereof, a house of glory and of supremacy will be built to eternity. Now, I believe he just went through uh, covenants. I believe he went through the law of Moses. I believe that's what I see all right here in these verses. Okay. I believe cause if you read it for yourself, let me know if you, you, you realize this. It says, and after that, in the third week, in the end thereof, a man will be chosen as a plant of the judgment of justice and after him the plant the plant of justice will come forth uh, will come forever and after that in the fourth week in the end thereof visions of the holy and the just will, will be seen and a law for all generations and a court will be made for them and after that in the fifth week in the end thereof a house of glory and of supremacy will be built to eternity there's something here okay timeline wise <clears throat> I'm going to have to look into this more and, and, and see what's going on because it's timeline wise, okay, these weeks. And after that, in the fifth week, in the end thereof, a house of glory and of supremacy will be built to eternity. Can it be that 70 weeks? Can it be a count from there? Because 
that's that's pretty much uh, 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 a timeline is the 70 weeks okay and we're waiting for that last 70th okay and then there's gonna continue after that one an eighth a ninth okay so yeah there is definitely something here and after that in the fifth week in the end thereof a house of glory and of supremacy will be built to eternity and after that in the sixth week those who will insist those who will exist in it will be will all be blinded and their hearts will all forget wisdom. And in it, a man will ascend. And in the end thereof, the house of supremacy will burn with fire. And the whole race of the chosen root will be cut off. And after that, in the seventh, seventh week, a rebellious generation will arise. Get this. And many will be their deeds. And all their deeds will be rebellious. The seventh week. And in the end thereof of the chosen, and in the end thereof the chosen just, sorry, and in the end thereof the chosen just of the everlasting plant of justice will be rewarded. In the end of that seventh week. Oh, man, there's a lot here. I, I, I very much encourage you. I'm going to talk to maybe a couple uh, my teacher pastors that are friends of mine you know maybe ask them about this if they've gone through this because i see a lot here um and after that in the seventh week a rebellious generation will arise we're talking about the last week and many will be their deeds we know this the antichrist and the, and the, and the antichrist and all that's going to be happening and that's in that last week the seventh week um in that last week okay it says and many will be their deeds and all their deeds will be rebellious and in the end thereof the chosen just of the everlasting plant of justice will be rewarded seven portions of of learning are given to them concerning all his creatures and and who and who is there of all the children of men that is able to hear the voice of the holy one and does not tremble and who is able to think his thoughts? And who is that? And who is that is able to see all the works of heaven? And how could one know the deeds of heaven and be able to see his breath and his spirit and be able to relate it or ascend and see all their ends and think them or act like them? And who is the man that is able to know what the bread bread breadeth? What is the breadth and the length of the earth is? And to whom has the measure of them all been shown? Or is there any man who is able to know the length of heaven? And what is its height? And upon this, this right here reminds me in, in the book of Job, you know, when the Lord is telling Job, you know, were you there, you know, when I made this and when I put the stars in place and when I when I set the boundaries of the waters and I made the land and I made all, you know, this reminds me of that that portion right there, because it says what man, what what man knows these things, you know, what man and you think about it, what man does know the length of the whole the, even now as, as telescopes go out and measurements are taken, they still don't know the depths of the heavens. They don't. They only could get so far. So to this day, no one knows everything, okay? How, what God created and how he created it, amen? Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, it says, And who is the man that is able to know what the breadth, the breadth and the length of the earth is? And to whom has the measure of them all been shown? Or is there any man who is able to know the length of heaven? And what is its and what is its height? And upon what it is established? And what is the measure as regards uh, and what is the measure as regards the number of the stars and where all the luminaries rest? Amen. Chapter 94. And now I say to you, my children, love justice and walk in it. For the paths of justice are worthy that they may be accepted. And the paths of the injustice are destroyed suddenly and cease. 
and to and to certain men of a future generation the paths of violence and of death will be revealed and they will retreat from them and will not follow them and now i say to you the just do not walk in the wicked path and in violence and not in the paths of death and do not approach them that ye may that ye be not destroyed but love and choose for yourself justice and a pleasing life and walk in the paths of peace that you may live and have joy and hold in the thoughts of your hearts and let and let not my words be eradicated from your hearts for i know that the sinners will deceive men to make wisdom wicked and it wisdom will not find a place and all kinds of temptations will not cease Woe to those who build injustice and violence and found deception, for they will be rooted out suddenly and will have no peace. Woe to those who build their, ho their houses in sin, for they will be rooted out from their foundation and will fall by the sword. And they who acquire gold and silver will be destroyed by sudden judgment. Woe to you rich, for you have trusted in your riches but you will come away from your riches because you have not remembered the Most High in the days of your riches. You have done reviling and you have done reviling and injustice and were prepared for the day of bloodshed and for the day of darkness and for the day of great judgment. Thus I speak to you and announce to you that, that he who has created you will destroy you from the foundation. And over your fall there will be no pity and your creator will rejoice in your destruction. And your just in those days will be a disgrace to sinners and the impious. Chapter 95. Oh, that my eyes were clouds of water, and I could weep over you and pour out my tears like a cloud of water, and I could rest from the sorrow of my heart. Who has empowered you to practice hate and wickedness? May the judgment reach you, the sinners. Fear not the sinners, you just, for God will give them into your hands again, that you may pass judgment over them as you desire. Woe to you who pronounce curses, that they may not be loosened, and healing will be far from you on account of your sins. Woe to you who pronounce curses, that they may not be loosened, and the healing will be far from you on the account of your sins. Woe to you who repay evil to your neighbor, for you will be repaid according to your deeds. Woe to you, the witness of untruth, the witnesses. Woe to you, the witnesses of untruth, and to those who wait injustice, for you will be destroyed suddenly. Woe to you sinners, for you will pursue the just, for you will be given over and pursued, you men of injustice, and heavy will be their yokes upon you. Chapter 96 Hope, you just, for the sinners will be destroyed suddenly before you, and the power over them will be to you as you desire. And in the day of the trouble, and in the day of the trouble of the sinners, your children will mount and rise like eagles, and your nest will be higher than the hawk, and you will ascend and go like the squirrels into the recesses of the earth and into the clefts of the rock to eternity. Before the unjust, but they will lament over you and cry like satyrs. But fear not, you who suffer, for a healing will be to you, and a brilliant light will shine for you, and you will hear the voice of rest from heaven. I'm going to repeat that. But fear not, you who suffer. For a healing will be to you, and a brilliant light will shine for you, and you will hear the voice of rest from heaven. Amen. Amen. Verse 4, But woe to you, sinners, for your riches may make you appear like the just, 
but your heart proved to you that you are sinners, and this word will be a testimony against you as a remembrance of wicked deeds. Woe to you who devour the marrow of the wheat and drink the power of the root of the fountain and trod down the lowly by your power. Woe to you who drink water at all times, for you will be repaid suddenly and will dry up and wilt because you have left the fountain of your life. I'm going to continue in my next video. Um, the rest of uh, the woes, um, very powerful. I very uh, highly recommend you read this. It was a blessing to me and also hope. Uh, for those who are suffering injustices, those who are suffering persecution, those who are suffering oppression. Um, but I was I was watching uh, something the other day. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this video here. I'm gonna continue it in my next video. <clears throat> we'll pick off from where we left off, and um, and I just wanted to uh, mention something that I watched yesterday. Uh, on uh, Iraq, uh, Iran. Anyhow, uh, anyhow. So I'll see you in my next video. We'll pick off where, pick up where we left off. Thank you for listening. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Amen.